it's good, Connor, to see tourism recovery, but uh, there does appear to be some evidence that the recovery is more modest in the West. Is, is that how you see it? Yeah, certainly, I mean, I, I suppose certainly things are a lot better this year than they were last year. Uh, needless to say, I think we always expected that, uh, from a tourism perspective, that Dublin would, would, would come back first and probably the benefits to the East Coast would be greater at this moment in time. You know, there's a lot of contraction from airlines and, and providers coming into the country and, and needless to say, as that comes back, it comes back into to Dublin more so than yes. Shannon. And Shannon is certainly a concern for us here in the West in terms of, um, you know, bringing tourism into the country. Sure. I mean, obviously, domestically, we're doing reasonably well at the moment, but the key objective has to be to, to, to go the overseas, the overseas market. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Killarney, Killarney, of course, always has had a pretty good balance uh, in its sources of business, but there must be some concern here about the current weakness of the domestic economy. Uh, how significant is the home market for Kerry in this area generally? Very significant, I suppose, and, and particularly in recent years. I mean. Killarney, uh, I suppose, is a, is a driver of business for Kerry as well. Uh, thankfully, Killarney was always in mixed markets, Eamon, so in yeah. the current climate, Killarney is doing reasonably well. Um, uh, you know, you'll meet some people who will say that they're not doing that well, but generally speaking, I think when you, when you look at Killarney, it's, it, 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 it's doing a lot better than, than most other yes. destinations. Probably yeah. Galway is the same, it's got that broad appeal. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think it's good. The domestic market, um, is, is vital for Killarney. I suppose one of the key concerns, obviously, though, is percentage-wise that sure. you know that we, we need a balance of, of international tourism as well. Absolutely, and probably never more important than at the moment, where I mean, realistically, we have to assume that there'll be the domestic market will be weak for another year or two. So we got to go overseas to find Absolutely. replacement well, business. I suppose the concern for the West is that even though I said Killarney and Galway are doing reasonably well, I mean, if you're out on the wing of Kerry, if you're in you know in other parts where where you're off the beaten track. Yeah. That can be quite difficult because the season is very short. You Indeed. Know. And how about the value issue? We've had a bit of it in recent years. Is, is, is the West offering good value these days, do you believe? Yeah, well, I think when you look at the quality of the product, I mean, we, we have this consistent argument about the quality uh, uh, versus value issue. Sure. Um, you know, what do you talk about golf or what do you talk about hotels or what do you talk about visitor attractions? You know, just, there is tremendous value here, yeah. but, it, it, but it has to be aligned to the quality and the, the, the value of, the, yeah. uh, of what we're offering. And of course, uh, we need to get that message out as well, that the value is... very important, you know, yeah. and, you know, I mean, whether it's, whether it's food or accommodation or golf, you know, if yeah. you go anywhere in the world and you want a quality product, yeah. you have to pay for it. And it's the good news is that most people are willing to pay the, the, the uh, a fair price for value, you yeah. know. I, I think what's happened is that the, the price issue has settled down a little bit. And more and more people now, I think, are looking for... They've established where they can yeah, get yeah, value as well yeah, as price. Sure, um, sure. And they're getting great yeah, quality sure. um, at a reasonable price. Yeah. You know? And how about the marketing of the West? What's the feeling down here? Is there, are, there, are, there, are there areas we could improve on? You you're, you're, you're in a county that's never going to be happy until we all <laughs> Ireland's. And, and uh, um, you know, I, I think there's always concern about marketing. And yeah. I think that's not necessarily a bad thing, Eamon, because yeah. if we were happy then there wouldn't be any pressure sure. on it. Um, you know, tourism is a vital economic driver for, for this part of the world yeah. and for most of the west of Ireland and it is seen as a key recovery tool for, sure. for Ireland. Sure. Um, so marketing, we can never have enough marketing, we can never sure. have enough specialised marketing really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, certainly, you know, whether you talk about the high-end stuff like the yeah. incentive market, the golf yeah. market, they're the areas we need to push. They're, sure. the, they're going to be the key economic sure. drivers and, and they're yeah. going to help get our spends back up a little yeah. bit. And yeah. They're looking for unique things as well. And yeah. I, I believe in one sense, you know, the West Coast wasn't as badly affected, let's say, as maybe the East Coast during the Celtic Tigers years, you know, in yeah. terms of overdevelopment and whatnot. Sure. So we've still got quite a lot of unique yeah. heritage, broader appeal, yeah. wild landscape. You know, the yeah. National Park is... Yeah. is, is and Killarney road. House, that's, a, that's an interesting new addition that's going to be coming on stream. It's yeah. great to see the Minister announce uh, yeah, this we'll week that they're uh, yeah. investing, what, 7 million to refurbish? Well, I think the overall figure is nearly closer to 10, you know, okay. but Fault Ireland's uh, input um, through cap the capital investment program yeah. is 5.5 million. Yeah. And, uh, Minister Varadkar and Minister Dinehan both announced that here on Saturday. Yeah. That's a tremendous boost it because is. I suppose you have this, this, this wonderful gardens and this wonderful house which has become a little bit dilapidated over yeah. the years. It's right in the centre of Killarney. Yeah. 
I think it'll be seen as a kind of, could be seen as a kind of a Stevens Green at some stage yeah. in the future yeah. for Killarney, which would be magnificent. And the most important thing, I think, is a lot of visitors come to Killarney and they actually don't realise how close they are to the National Park. Correct. Um, Starts so in the town. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we're within 400 yards of it yeah. here. Yeah. And for most, you know, from the centre of town, you're only a couple of hundred sure. yards. So sure. it's a huge, huge And of course, factor. it's a national asset as well, too, Absolutely. as we shouldn't yeah. forget. I mean, yeah. Killarney yeah. itself is a, a great attractor and drawer of businesses oh, from all parts of the world. Yeah, yeah. sure. And I, I mean, we were very lucky, as you know, to have the Irish Open here this weekend yeah. and the images that were beamed out of Killarney uh, is only be positive for everybody in yeah. the country, not yeah. just Killarney. You know? yeah. So where, finally, do you think the main opportunities for the West over the next four to five years and, and regrowing its tourist business, where do you think they lie? I, I think, you know, we've had a lot of very positive development in the country over the last couple of years. I suppose one of the key things I think we need to do is refocus on what we actually have. Yeah. Rather than going out to try and create new product, I think, you know, we, we have fantastic food on the island yeah. of Ireland and I don't think we push it enough. I was I agree, listening yeah. to, to, to this, a radio program this morning and there, there's some, the, the Congress in the United States are they're having some Irish banquet there, I think, uh, yeah. this week. And, you know, it's a fantastic promotion for Irish sure. food. But I think, you know, in the Celtic Tiger years, we, you know, we lost that little bit of friendliness. Yeah. I think we, I think that's back in spades, yeah. by the way. I think the other thing we did is we looked at our pubs and we said, oh, they have to be big and modern and flashy sure. and nothing another. The country who comes here wants to come for something traditional. Authenticity, Authenticity all the time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think if we focus in on our food, our culture, our music, yeah. our literature, yeah. and our people, most yeah. importantly, yeah. I think, it, it, you know, and, yeah. and develop what we were good at, redevelop, sure. rethink about it sure. and, and push that message forward that we're open for business, we're providing value for money and we're, you know, we're welcoming warm yeah. people. Terrific. We go along with Terrific. Well, it's interesting and appropriate that just at the very end of this interview, Connor, the sun comes out and shines on us here in the gorgeous grounds of your hotel here, the Moulton in Killarney. And uh, it's been around since when, 1854. So it's had a lot of ups and downs, including a couple sure. of world wars and stuff. And uh, I think that's the, the last message you gave there is the key thing. We have to remain resilient and confident that there is a good future ahead. We're on since 1854. We hope to be around for another 100 years or so. Great. Thank you, Connor.